Hi, I'm Chelsea from Redshark, and today I'm going to show you how to do a text warp effect on your text in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this text warp effect in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along with this tutorial, just go download our Illustrator working file, and you can do these steps while you're watching the video. So, we're going to come over here. We have our text already in right here. And the first thing you're going to do is draw a shape, or if you have this file, just pull down the shape we're using. And we're going to be using a circle. You can use any shape. It's just if you want the end words to kind of circle around, obviously using a circle is going to be easier. So we have our circle. We're going to grab the knife tool and section this out. So we just want to make a section for each of our words. So I'm just going to make two cuts since we have three words we're using. And then um, we're going to make sure our text is expanded. Okay. And then we're going to go through and one by one we're going to grab our text and our section that it's corresponding to. And we're going to go Command Alt C. So it's going to pull the text into that space. And just make sure that you're only selecting the word and the section when you're doing this. Okay, so now we have it like this. And if you hadn't already ungrouped your words before you did this, you might need to ungroup them now to edit this. We're just going to add a little bit of space here because we're going to be adding a color change in the back. And if the words are too close together, you're not going to be able to see it that well. Okay, it doesn't need that much space, just enough that we can see it. Like you can see over here, you wouldn't be able to see this if this word was pulled up right to the bottom of the A. Okay, so now that we have them spaced out a little bit, we're going to grab them again and regroup them. And then what we're going to do is um, you could have already done this, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I've expanded these again. And then we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it in place. And with that new copy, we're going to scale it down. So that's a pretty good size. I just did it, scaled it like 20%. It just depends on how much you, how stretched you want it to look. So then we're going to change that color and I actually already have, I'm just going to sample this color up here. This is just the same color as my background because I want it to look like the text is coming out of the background, but just experiment with different foreground and background colors for this. It will give you a lot of different effects. So now we have that selected. We're going to send it to the back. Just want to make sure it's not behind background. Okay, and so then now we are going to select the front and back options and then we're going to go to blend, blend options, and then we're going to change it from smooth colored to specified steps. So here is where you're going to get a big difference in your result. You do 100. Okay, so now you can see here this is a very smooth blend from our back to the front text we have. I'm going to undo that. And here we can do, this is how you're going to make a lot more of a jagged look. We set it at like 10 steps. And then you, you know, go through, go blend, make. And so you can see, I'll just zoom in so you can see better. It's still a cool effect, but it's just, um, it's not the smooth look we are going for. So it's just how many steps it's going to take to get to that back color. So you can go ahead and experiment with different steps, different colors. It, there's a lot of cool effects you can do with this. If you haven't already, go download our working file for this tutorial so you can try it out yourself and go follow our Instagram and subscribe to our newsletter for all things RSD.